Saturday the 12th of March 1977. A crowd which grew later to 61,000 watches the opening ceremony. Both teams are lined up on the field and here are the former England captains ranging in age from the 70s to the late 20s. Australian-born Gabby Allen needs a walking stick these days. Freddie Brown coming through the gate followed by Sir Leonard Hutton and Peter May. And finally, Colin Cowdery and Ted Dexter. Here's Jack Ryder leading out the Australian contingent and there's a wonderful thing right behind him, Sir Donald Bradman who's here and Jack Ryder of course, what an occasion to be held as test player. He played in 1920-21. See Ian Johnson just a couple back there, the secretary of this ground and Lindsay Hassett of course, the well-known ABC commentator now. So Jack Ryder, listen to the ovation these black men were get. Richie Benno there. Uh, I don't think there has been a gallery or lineup of talent Prick talent like that in the history of the game. Oh, we doubt it very, very much indeed. What great names. And as the players are all in position now, the former captains are there, and we await Mr. Bob Parrish to step up to the microphone after the appropriate fanfare. And here goes. <laughs> Australian Cricket Board has been able to bring to Melbourne to join with us in celebrating this centenary of test cricket between England and Australia, more than 200 great players of previous years. On the 15th of March, 1877, the first test match between England and Australia commenced on this ground. This will be the 226th test match between our two countries. It will certainly be a test to remember and just as certainly a test of memories. And may I hand to you, Greg Chappell, this gold commemorative medallion with which to toss and to wish you and Tony Gregg, both of them the best of luck and may we have good cricket. To the middle of the pitch they go, now that they'll have a look at this before the toss and we're standing by now for this all important toss. Yes. Thank you very much. Good game. Play will start in just 10 minutes' time. The umpires are scheduled to arrive on the field in five minutes. So now, before the players come out, we'll have the opportunity of, of introducing a, a former England player, Jeff Boycott, and he will be talking now to Frank Tyson. Jeff, the interesting decision of Tony Gregg. He's won the toss and uh, decided to bowl. Yeah, I hope he doesn't live to regret it in this great occasion match. And I think it basically stems from the fact that England is worried about its batting. They're so worried about the batting that they put Amos down to four. They've got Fletcher at five, who's never done very well against Australia in the last couple of series. And uh, I think all in all, they're, they're a little bit frightened that Lily will get into them fairly quickly. And uh, all right, they may say that uh, on the bonus side for England, that John Lever's bowled very well in India. Bob Willis and Chris Ole have supported him well in India. But uh, even so, I think it's, uh, it's a step which uh, he may live to regret. And as the Australian Open has come out, it's good morning here in Melbourne uh, to make his maiden appearance on ABC television, Jim Laker. Good morning, Jim. Thank you very much, Norman. 